Well, welcome to, welcome to Revive this morning. How are we doing this morning? Are we doing good? Amen? Amen? Uh, just like to say that we are so glad that you're here with us this morning. And uh, I want to say, if, you're, if it's your first time here this morning, we want to welcome you. We're so glad that you came to worship with us today. Let's give our guests a hand clap of praise this morning. Amen? Amen. I got my little uh, cheat sheet of announcements here real fast to run through. Uh, just one quick announcement that it wasn't on here last week. Men's breakfast. We're going to have a men's breakfast this upcoming Saturday. And if you want to be here uh, this upcoming Saturday, 9 a.m., men's breakfast, go sign up at the Hub. We would love to have you. We're going to cook a big breakfast, have prayer together, just fellowship with one another. Amen? Fellowship with one another, pray with one another, just have fun with, the, with each other. And uh, that, that's this Saturday, March 29th. Sign up today for that. Detroit mission trip in April, on April 11th, that's out there. More mission trip, July 20th through 26th is out there. There's info cards in the back of your seat. And uh, if you want to fill one of those out, you can put it in the tithe and offering as we, as we come around for that. Uh, there's some bags that you can pick up out front as well to, uh, to help out the church as well. Backpack program, there's a bag out there for that. Uh, we, 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 we fill up backpacks each week and give them to the schools. And it's, it's such a great ministry because there's some kids who the only meals they get, guess what? Are when they're at school during the week, amen? And we got to feed them over the weekend. And that's what that backpack program does. Um, and then revival groups are starting up. Small groups are starting up for everybody. And there, those are out there as well. We would love to have you in a small group during the week to meet with other people. That's how we grow in relationship. When we fellowship and we meet and we go over the word and we pray with each other. Amen? Amen. I'm going to share one story with us this morning out of a book I've been reading. And I love this story. And it's really, it's got to be each and every one of us. And uh, imagine a man standing at the gates of heaven waiting for admittance Peter greets him by saying you have you have to have earned a thousand points to get in what have you done to earn your points and somewhat taken back the man answers I've never heard of that before but let me see I was raised in a Christian home I've always been a part of the church I have Sunday school attendance pins that go down the floor I went to a Christian college and graduated school and have led hundreds of people to Christ before I died, I was an elder in my church and supportive of the people of God. I have three children, two boys and a girl. My oldest boy is a pastor, and the younger has a ministry to the poor. My daughter and her husband are missionaries. I have always tithed, given as much as 30% of my income to God's work at the end. In my job as a bank exec executive, I worked with the poor in our city who were trying to get low-income mortgages. How am I doing so far, he asked Peter. That's one point, Peter said. What else have you done? And he said, good Lord, have mercy, the man said in frustration. And Peter said, that's it. Welcome home. Okay? And that's really got to be a cry for all of us. It's, it's God, have mercy on me. It's God, give me your grace. It's God, forgive me for what I've done because there's nothing we can do to earn our way up there, is it? There's nothing we can do to earn the grace of God. We just have to cry out for mercy. And this morning, let's stand as we sing. And I want the worship, the times we sing, to be a cry for mercy from God. To be a cry for mercy. Amen? Amen. Let's worship this morning.
we seek your face. Our souls long for you this morning. My soul longs for you. My soul longs for you. And nothing else will do. And nothing else will do. My soul longs for you. My soul longs for you. And nothing else will do. We just give you this place. Lord, we give everything to you. Every instrument, every song, every everything that's sung, that's said this morning is yours. Lord, let there be less of us and more of you in this place this morning. Lord, for anybody that's coming into this place hurting this morning, they would leave here a new creation. Lord, we need to be revived in this place this morning. Our souls long for you, Lord. Nothing else in this world can take your place. Fill this place and let it rain. Fill this place. Let it rain this morning. Let it rain.
But my soul longs for you. Nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. Amen. Amen. Lord Heavenly Father, we just lift you up in this place this morning. We just lift you up in this place. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the victory in this house this morning. We thank you for those chains that will be broken when people walk out of here today. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. A thousand times I've failed, still your mercy remains. Now should I stumble again, then I'm caught in your grace, everlasting, that your light will shine with all else face, never ending, that your glory goes beyond all
to love you from the inside out. Everlasting, your light will shine with us. Consume me from the inside out, Lord. Amen, amen. This morning, what's your purpose? What's your purpose this morning? Are you going to stand in front of God and say, you know what, here I am. Here, am, here is all of me, Lord. Do with what you want. That's what it's all about, right? Here I am. You know what? It doesn't matter what you've done, where you've been. It doesn't matter. I think, I think too, all too often people think that they've become unworthy of God's love. They think, well, I've done this, I've done that, I've done this, I've done that. And God says, I don't care. You didn't think I already knew that? You didn't think I already knew that? This morning, there is a God that loves you despite anything that you've ever done. This morning, there's a God that loves you despite everything that you're going to do. Right? I asked this morning that you just open up your heart. Open up your heart and just say, God, take a look. Just ask God. To show you, to show you a glimpse of what he has planned for you. Just, just ask God, just show me a little bit of your love this morning. Because he will. We are the only people, we're the only thing that keeps us away from God. This morning, if you, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, this morning is your morning. Today is your day. And maybe you've been that person, you know what, I believe in Jesus, but I have just ran and ran and ran. We've all been there, amen. We've all been there. Today is your day. Just, Lord, here I am. I don't know anything else. I don't have the answers to anything else. All I can stand is, I can stand in front of you and say, here I am. That's it. Because he will answer. You ask God to come into your life, he will. We give you praise this morning, Lord. to be for creation eternity in your hands and you spoke the world into motion and my soul now to stay You stood before my failure and carried my cross to my shame. My sins weighed upon your shoulders, and my soul now to stand. 
So what can I say? So what could I say?
a peace I've come to know Though my heart and flesh may fail and There's an anchor for my soul I can say
Amen, amen. Amen, you may be seated this morning, amen. Amen, God is good, isn't he? Amen, amen, I love that song. And I love that last one of them lines, it says, I will rise, but I'll fall on my knees and then I'll rise. Anybody see that line? It doesn't make any sense worldly, but it makes sense when you're with God. You fall on your knees, you offer yourself up to him, and it's not your physical body rising, it's that, it's that dead man inside rising up to life, amen? I love that. Look at that. I will rise on eagle's wings before my God, I'll fall on my knees. That doesn't make any sense logically, does it? But with God, it doesn't have to make sense. Because God sees your, the inside man rising up to life, amen? Amen. I love that line. This morning, as we come to our time of offering, offering this is the time to worship God. With your giving. And really what it comes down to is, you know, Jesus loved the church. How much do you love the church? Amen. How much do you love the church? And I'm going to open with prayer. And as I pray, I'm going to say, you pray for what God wants you to give. And don't give a dime over it. And don't give a dime under it. Amen. Whatever God calls you to give this morning. Father God, Lord, as we come to this time of offering, Father God, Lord, I pray. Lord, I know. Lord, that you want us to use what... What people give, what obedient hearts give, you want us to use for your glory and your glory alone. And God, Lord, I pray that every dime will be spent the way you want it to be spent. Every dime will be used for your glory to feed the hungry, to help the sick. Lord, to visit people in hospitals as we did this week. Lord, to to support this church on our Sunday mornings when lives are changed. Lord, to rise up leaders to lead revival groups, to lead small groups. Father God, every dime will be used for your glory to go out in this community, Lord, and revive this community. Bring us back to life, God. Lord, my prayer is that we will use every single dime to your glory. Lord, and that you will call on our hearts to give what you want us to give. It's in your son's name I pray. And everybody said, amen, amen. So I had a friend of mine walk up to me and uh, asked me to write her a song. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, What do you mean to write about? And she just started telling me her story, and it was great. And when I was listening to her story, I realized that her story sounded a lot like a lot of people's story. We're searching for a love of some sort. We're looking in relationships. We're looking in money. We're looking in our job. We're looking in worldly things for this love that those things can't satisfy. God's the only one that can satisfy those things. And in this song, it's about a person who is looking for this love, and she realizes that God is the only one that can satisfy, and she realizes what God thinks of her. And so she asks God, God, can I have this gift? And that's what the song's called. So I, they all have the same things in common. They've been waiting for a prince who will make them feel complete and give them their happy ever after. And they spin and they sway and they dip and they twirl they dance through their life until the song fades away oh they finally have their dance i have tried many times to find my mr heart away to get it back in pieces am i beautiful am i truly the one are those just words you say so you can finally get your way and i want my prayer So 
over them I can dance in this dance And we will sway and we'll spin We will dip and we'll twirl We will dance through this life As the song fades away Oh, I'll finally, finally I'll have my dance But I still feel like there is something missing and it's something that's deep inside and then you whisper to me lord that you're the It's not because of what you've done or because of who you are, but because of the God I am and what I've done through my son. So Lord, will you be my partner? Lord, will you be my prince? Lord, be my knight in shining this dance as we dance through this song I'll give you my life and we will sway and we'll spin we will dip and we'll twirl we will dance through this life until the song fades away oh, I'll finally have my dance and we Amen. Amen. That was amazing. Amen. Amen.